What's going on guys? Dots here and today I'm bringing you a quick beginner guide on how to level your fitness skills in Black Desert Online. So separately from your character, combat XP and skill XP, there are also three separate passive attributes that every character has. Breath, strength and health that are all important for your character's progress and these are all leveled in different ways and today's guide is going to describe what these three stats do as well as how to quickly level them up so obviously to start what do they do so breath is going to give your character more stamina this will allow you to use certain skills that cause stamina obviously more frequently and you will also be able to sprint for longer strength is going to increase your character's weight limit aka your carrying capacity while health is is going to increase your HP. Now these stats all level in different ways and ha I have a couple ways for you to level them today. So to level your breath, the easiest thing to do is obviously going to be to just run around. You will just passively level breath by walking and running from place to place, but you can also AFK level your breath by setting an auto path in town. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open your map and by holding the alt key you're going to want to right click a bunch of different spots to try to make a circle basically and then what you can do is you can reconnect at the beginning and you will create an auto looped path and then from there you can hit t and as you can see because it's glowing green your character will run in this path continuously what you could also do is just you know set your character to run in a straight line and click set auto loop path now what's really cool is that when you make these auto looped paths you're able to save them as a you know auto looped path preset so that if you ever do want to use this path again in the future you can just load it up from the preset by clicking this per uh this little man icon at the bottom right and then you can click one of the paths load it on up and boom you're good to go so you do not have to reset it every single time and so once that path grows grows green you just click t which is the default keybind to just auto run and your path or your your person will just run in that path continuously until you go and interrupt it and then if you do hit shift to allow your character to sprint it will also bring up a little uh dialogue if i show it right here it'll bring up a little dialogue that says set auto sprint so you can just click that and have your character automatically sprint while they are on that path so that's also going to be very helpful now you can also level strength in a very similar manner, but obviously to make some gains in strength, you're going to need to be carrying something heavy. So to do this, you're going to want to talk to a trade manager who's usually right near the stable keepers. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit trade and then just buy, you know, something so that you are over encumbered. So I'll buy 14 of these uh, dwarf tool packs. And then when you have all 14, you're going to click purchase all. And as you can see, this will over encumber my character. So we're going to click purchase all. Boom. And now, as you can see, we have the backpack on and we do move slowly. So what you're gonna wanna do is do the exact same thing you did with leveling uh, your breath, but now just do it with this pack on and then your character will gain, make some gains carrying a heavy backpack. And then when you are done, you can simply just discard the items you were carrying and you will be done uh, working on your, uh, your strength XP. Leveling health is also pretty easy. This can be done by simply eating food in the game. So food is a consumable that you have in game that can give you some buffs and what i recommend doing as like a really cheap food if you want to you can look at your different options by going to consumables go to food and this will show you the different foods in the game now what you're going to want to eat is yellow quality meals as these give the most health experience now they can they technically give the same amount of experience as an orange quality food but because yellow is a grade down in quality they are typically cheaper and so it is you know much better to get the um to get a gold quality food just because you're going to save more money leveling your health up in the long term now you can get a bunch of buffs from food in the game so what i would recommend doing is finding a solid food that i you know you would eat you know basically repeatedly that can give you um you know that'll give you some combat buffs because odds are you're probably gonna be out grinding doing a bunch of stuff so eating yellow food on cooldown you still want it to give you um some sort of benefit so what i recommend is the serendia meal i think it's really good it gives you 5 ap 10 accuracy and the uh, added addition to your critical hit and you can eat this every half hour and then you just you know continually eat this and it will level up your health experience but if there's another food that you guys want to eat and you want to have for what you're doing go ahead and do that just make sure it is a yellow or gold quality food or excuse me yellow 
or orange quality food so that you are getting the most amount of experience possible. Now, there's also one more way to level up your strength, your breath, and your health, and that is gonna be via juices. Now, these are usually given as level up rewards or season rewards, but there are also other ways to get these too. You can actually acquire them via the loyalty shop. So if you go to the pearl shop and then you type, I believe you could just literally type a friggin' juice. Just type in juice, and as you can see, these cost 100 loyalties each, and they give you a ton of experience for either your strength, your health, or your breath. But these can only be used if your level on that fitness skill is level 29 or below. So you are able to get these, like I said, from the loyalty shop. Um, you can also, I'll take you guys over to the guild vendors. You can also get them from the uh, guild vendor. Granted, if you do do this, it will use some of your guild's allowance. So that is something to keep in mind, depending on number one, how much allowance you have and if you need it for war. Um, but, you know, you can technically buy it from the guild manager. So if you come here and you go to the guild shop, as you can see, you can get a bunch of the juices here, although they are a bit expensive from this guy. Um, and you can eat through your allowance pretty quickly with how much of these you do need to buy to level it up. Now, another way to do it, if your guild does participate in node wars, and this is probably one of the best ways to get juices is to go to the war vendors. So my guild personally participates in tier one node wars. So assuming I hold a node, I would come to the tier one war vendor. I would then go to the war shop. And as you can see, I actually didn't even know we hold the hell the node right now. I can purchase a bunch of different juices. And as you can see, they're significantly cheaper here than they were at the uh, regular guild vendor. Now, the amount of juices that you can purchase from the war vendor will reset with every single war reset. So basically, let's say my guild holds the node for five days in a row every single time we successfully hold that node the purchase limit here will reset and i can routinely buy these so this is a really good way to get some extra juices to give you more experience if your guild does participate in the war and you can also get some other great uh things here such as combat xp scrolls skill xp scrolls and even uh, massive pure magic assuming you are trying to uh, do some black star stuff eventually but guys, with that being said, that is going to be it for my very quick guide today on how to level your fitness skills in Black Desert Online. Hopefully you did find this useful. And if you did, I'd appreciate if you smacked a like on it. If you have any questions about this, you know, feel free to leave a comment below. And for more BDO beginner guides, please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.